What's up everybody, back with another mod tutorial, and this time it will be on the Spawner GUI mod. Um, I've had a couple people request this, this is why I'm doing it right now. And uh, basically what this mod does is it allows you to change what spawns in a um, mob spawner. Um, you could pick from any of the mobs within Minecraft. I think it's any of them, I'm not sure if you can do um, villagers. But anything that can spawn... Um, you should be able to select but it has to correspond with the animals conditions so basically for an animal to spawn um, for you to spawn like a pig or something like that it's got to be on grass and for you to spawn um, like a monster it has to be dark it has to be dark and for you to spawn like slime it has to be within like the 16th layer from the bedrock and just so on and so forth so right now I have it spawning sheep and I want to try to I'm gonna set it to midnight and then I'm gonna start spawning Let's see I'm on easy okay um, I'm gonna start spawning some Enderman I'll let it spawn an Enderman, and then I'll spawn an Ender Dragon. I'll try that, see if that works out. Okay, let's not look at that guy. Let's avoid looking at him. Uh, Ender Dragon. All right, there we go. Ender Dragon. Look at that guy. I don't want to look at him and have him attack. Come on, dragon. Spawn. Hurry up and spawn. Um, so you can see, if you try to spawn a dragon in your world, it will put the boss health, and I'm sure this thing will be attacking me. Again, I'm still not trying to look at the, the Enderman, which has already picked up a block. Come on, dragon. Spawn already. I'm not sure if it's going to let the dragon spawn or not. It might not. So the ender dragon may be something that you can't spawn. So let's just go ahead and spawn a blaze. Okay. Alright, this is a bad idea, I'm dying. Hey, bring it on. Alright, so that's it. Very simple. Um, pretty cool mod if you're trying to do some sort of um, like mob grinder type of thing to collect maybe like some pig meats or pork and all that kind of stuff. So I need to clean up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install it. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this is either WinR or 7-Zip or any other kind of archiving program, um, whatever you prefer to use. Um, and then you're going to need to download ModLoader and the Spawner GUI mod itself. So to get ModLoader and the Spawner GUI, I will give you the link to this page in the description. Um, you'll download both of them from this page because they're both made by the same person. So you're just going to scroll down until you see mod loader 1.0.0 and you can either do add fly or direct uh, whichever you prefer I prefer to download direct because then you don't have to deal with add fly because add fly likes to mess up on me for some reason so after you download mod loader just scroll down a little bit more until you see spawner GUI 1.0.0 and again you can either download add fly or direct uh, whichever you prefer so that is how you download this. Now to install it, we're going to go ahead and come to start, type in percent app data percent, just like this down here. Then you're going to go ahead and go into your roaming, then go into your dot minecraft, then into your bin, left click, no right click your minecraft jar and do open with winrar. Now this folder with all your uh, jar files in it, you can go ahead and close that. We don't need that anymore. 
drag your Minecraft jar to the side, go ahead and open up Mod Loader, highlight all these class files, and drag it into your Minecraft jar, then click OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader, open up Spawner GUI, highlight all these files, and drag them into your Minecraft jar, click OK. Go ahead and close Spawner GUI. Now come over to your Minecraft jar, right click Meta Inf, and do Delete Files. Hit yes, and there you go. Always make sure you delete meta inf. If you don't delete that, it will stop Minecraft from working when you try to install any mods. So that's it. Very simple to install. So I hope this helped you guys out. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.